Welcome to The Randy Show. I am the James Randy Educational Foundation's Outreach Coordinator, Brian Thompson, and with me once again is James Randy. Randy, Hi there. I am incredibly excited because this December, the JREF is hosting another cruise. We've done a few cruises in the past, and this December we're doing a cruise of the beautiful Mayan Riviera. So are you, uh, are you as excited as I am? You look pretty excited. Well, you know, you said the Mayan Riviera. I thought the Mayans were gone long ago, but now that they're back, you've just announced that to me. I, I, I'm more excited than I was a moment ago, I can tell you. By the way, when you're you're excited, you um, I don't see any jumping up and down or drumsticks or anything like that. I, it's hard to tell you're excited. We had some complaints from the neighbors, so I'm not allowed to use oh. my drumsticks anymore. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the new dance that you used to carry on at the window. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah there there were reasonable re- objections, uh, I must say. Well, we're, I'm fighting it in court. But so we're going to uh, we're going to Belize. We're going to Honduras. We're going to Mexico. We're launching out of Tampa, Florida. Obviously, the theme of this cruise is uh, is the Mayans, and there's this belief out there that the Mayans predicted the world would end at the end of this year. So uh, we got to get in as much fun as possible before that happens. What do, what do you know about this this prophecy? It's not a prophecy at all. It's, it's simply a made-up thing. The Mayans didn't make any such prophecy. There's nothing on record anywhere, and Mayan hieroglyphs are pretty well figured out now, that they said anything about the world ending in 2012. What happened was they made a huge calendar stone, and they ran out of space, and there was no stone left, so they stopped the calendar at that point, which was, was quite sufficient for them because if their empire had lasted uh, up until today, they'd still be doing okay. That is until the end of the year. But this is ridiculous. I think somebody should read, turn the damn thing over. And on the other side, maybe they'll find 2013, pardon me, 2014, et cetera. Uh, Maybe they'll find those other things on the back. Or if they keep looking around in the same place in Mexico City where they unearthed this thing, I mean, this wonderful artifact, I must admit. Uh, Come on. That doesn't mean that since we don't have calendars printed for the year uh, 2060 yet, at least I don't think any calendar companies out there have started printing them. Does that mean the the world ends before that just because we don't have printed calendars? What a ridiculous premise. But, hey, the media got in in touch with it. They said, oh, this is something we've got to keep hold of because we can make some sort of news out of this. And tired editors said, yeah, go ahead write the end of the world prophecy about to be fulfilled or something. And uh, the the media ran with it, of course, because they don't have much better to do. Yeah, I was pretty terrified last year when my bunny a day calendar ended on December. And uh, I didn't know if I'd have any more bunnies, but uh, luckily I went to the calendar store. Is there a calendar store? I just made that up. Yeah, I, I figured you did. Brandon, you've got that glazed expression in your eyes. <laughs> through, a real, right through your glasses, it shows. It's a real niche by the market. way, hmm. by the way, uh, Ben Radford's uh, going to be there, and uh, you've got lots of very interesting views on things, and some of which differ with mine, and uh, that's always uh, a subject of uh, a bit of controversy between the or controversy, whichever you way you wish it, uh, between the two of us, but. Uh, Ben's always got provocative things to say, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him again. If you go to uh, if you go to amazingmeeting.com slash cruise, you can see our whole lineup of speakers. Like you said, we've got Ben Radford. Uh, we've also got uh, another another person, another expert on the list. Jennifer Michael Hecht. Uh, that's H-E-C-H-T. But she's been to many towns, and we've spoken together many times, and had a few lunches along the way. And uh, back in, uh, I think it was 2004, three, 2003, she came up with this uh, book called Doubt. That's a, a whole uh, survey of the, the skeptical uh, community and the skeptical world. Uh, if you don't have that in your library, you should have it. I'm going to go also out to my library here and make sure that we've got it in the Isaac Asimov Library, which I feel we do. So we'll be able to keep some company with Ms. Ms. Hecht, H-E-C-H-T, 
So there you go. And I'm looking forward to that as well. We've got Carrie Poppy, our communications director here at the James Randi Education yeah, Oh, yeah, Foundation. yeah, of course. By the way, she's turning out to be quite a character and uh, very happy with her. Uh, she uh, she spoke very, very well at TAM, I thought, and uh, ran a few panels there. and was, was very proficient at it. And I think that's a bit of a bonus for us. Yeah, she's the co-host of a, a very popular skeptical podcast called Ona, Ross, and Carrie. We've also got our, our stalwart president, DJ Grothy, is going to be speaking on Ooh, the cruise. Ooh, D, D, DJ Grothy? Oh, I remember him. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a younger fellow, I believe, younger than I. But then I think almost everybody in the world is younger than I am. Uh, it's so. easy to think that when you live in Florida. Very true, very true, very true. My neighbors look upon me as the whippersnapper in the area, you know. Oh, there he goes again, Sally. I wonder, gee, he doesn't look all that old, you know. And if they say that I don't look all that old, you can imagine how old they are. <laughs> exactly. We've also got Tony Van Pelt, uh, the director of, uh, yeah. or the public policy director for the Institute of Science and Human Values. And uh, and somewhere on the list is somebody who looks like me and shares my name, but that must be some kind of mistake. Oh, no, yeah, it's a mistake. That's a typo, obviously. <laughs> you can get all of the information at amazingmeeting.com slash cruise. It's December 9th through the 16th. Um, maybe it would make a good stocking stuffer for somebody. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, hard to get those boats into stockings, I can tell you that. But Nonetheless, I think we should give it a try. So, uh, yes, I would uh, seriously like to encourage our our viewers, our listeners to uh, look into this because this should be a very interesting one. I have not been to this part of the world, the, the Mayan ruins and such. I've uh, I read the, all the Catherwood, Cather, uh, Catherwood books when I was uh, just a kid, a wee tad of a, of a guy about, well, about this big, come to think of it. Uh, I read all about that. I read everything that Catherwood uh, wrote on it, and uh, wonderful discoveries. You know that Catherwood actually uncovered some ruins and made sketches of them. He cleared away the vines and trees and made sketches of them, and those are compared with photographs of the actual uh, artifacts. They're so exact that it's, it's unearthly, just about. And uh, the other thing that's interesting about it, he made some sketches of some stuff, that he then walked away from, and the jungle grew right back over it again. And these things have not been rediscovered. Uh, and, and that's always gotten archaeologists a little bit annoyed, you know. Why did he do a better clearing or put some weed kill in there or something? But uh, Catherine, Wood, Catherine Wood was a, a great explorer and a great artist, no question of it. Yeah, and anybody who comes on so, this cruise can, can follow in those footsteps. We can all pretend we're great explorers even if we're just looking at things that people have already seen before. I've got to look up Kathy Wood in my library here, and uh, I will promise to bring along my copies of Kathy you know, Wood uh, books. In fact, I'm going right out into the library as soon as we hang up here, and I'm going to look those books up, and I'm going to put them aside, and I will bring them along for interested uh, j workers to uh, consult with. Great. Looking forward to it. And and people really need to, to, to know that space is limited, so you really should go to the website and register as soon as possible. Register right now. Drop everything and go register amazingmeeting.com slash cruise and uh, spend a few days on the high seas with James Randi and Ben Radford, Jennifer Michael Hecht, Tony Van Pelt, a bunch of other uh, enthusiastic skeptics. And, uh, and DJ somebody or other. And DJ and, somebody or other. And, and somebody or other, yes. yes. <laughs> so it always gives you a run for your money. There's no question of it. And it's going to be the best time that anyone has ever had. It's going to be a lot of fun. The Randy Show is a production of the James Randy Educational Foundation. To learn more about how we promote science and critical thinking, go to randy.org.